Hello, beautiful people. So I've been guided, in a sense, to do a little video on um, healing in the sense of understanding um, masculine, feminine, understanding energy. And basically the true north. Like, where are we trying to go? We're doing all of this stuff to heal, right? Whether it's going to the doctors every time something's wrong, or every time you have a headache, take an Advil, or going inward and, like, working on your energy centers, or doing shadow work, um, doing regressions, going to a therapist and, like, talk therapy, right? We're doing all these things to heal. And in the big scheme of things, we're overdoing everything to heal. Because the power of healing, it comes down to our perception of what healing means, what energy means, what we mean as like individuals. So I wrote some notes because I know I like to go on tangents. Um, but the focus of this video is around um, ascension. So like raising your vibration. Um, it's around healing and it's around depolarization. One of my friends slash clients has been getting downloads. I'm, sure many of you have because they've been coming in like crazy for me um that depolarization has something to do with healing and I was like that's interesting because my nursing mind went straight to what I know is depolarized what depolarization means and like I was thinking of the heart when the blood comes in blood comes out you know the ventricles whatever so I was like wait I have to take my nursing mind my analytical mind out of it and go into self and source and I've noticed when I do that, the deeper meaning in words comes because polarization came in hot, right? Um, so what I mean by that polarity right now, us as human collective are upgrading. We're, we're ascending. Um, and that's why there's a lot of turbulence happening right now and people are like feeling emotions like off the charts their su suicide rates are up like crazy right depression addiction like it's it's insane because all we're trying to do is, re is um, return back to center which is home which is source which is self-love energy so by using all this external stuff like i mentioned at the beginning to return to that oneness we're never going to feel fulfilled because we're either masking problems, we're being, we're distracting ourselves, you know, with external shit. But when we can return home, we can heal. And so what's happening in the world is all of these opposites, if you want to refer to them as that, are being activated. Like people are ex either extremely, extremely angry or happy it's like they can't people can't understand that they can be a medium you can be happy and use anger in a positive way and the world right now is seeing a lot about um the, how the masculine energy as in the darker side of masculine energy that control oppressive part of masculine energy has been taking over society and now like people are starting to wake up because they're becoming more, feeling more emotions around it and some people are even using discernment now and being like that doesn't make sense like how can that make sense right rather than just being like allowing the information to come in and they're just like a sponge to whatever comes in rather than like let me take a step back and like see if this resonates with me right so right now we're in that state of systems breaking, the world's and timelines collapsing, and 
in the spiritual community, there's a lot of attention being placed on feminine energy, which is the moon, the divine moon. And because we've been in this masculine mind mindset and this control forever, forever. But there is good energy in masculine and there's good and bad energy. I don't wanna say bad, in feminine too. So there's so much concentration on people learning to understand that there's good of masculine and feminine energy and it's in each of us. Each of us has masculine and feminine energy. Our feminine energy comes in the left, masculine's on the right. And it's about learning the qualities behind masculine and behind feminine energy and seeing them within yourself, working with them, being aware of the qualities in that in those energies. And have you been more masculine your entire life where it's like you go, 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 go? Or have you been more nurturing to yourself, not, not others, to yourself? And it's funny because I'm, I'm building content on the masculine and feminine and the more I'm doing that, I'm seeing the union in them because once we can really become aware of the aspects of masculine is the safe container, is that, that um, grounding safe energy and that, that energy that can do things. And, and use it with that feminine nurturing intuitive energy that just needs to feel safe in order to do things we can bring both of those energies out of us because they're already in us they've been in us since we were born but all this external stuff has had us forget that so that's why there's this big focus on understanding feminine right bringing in the divine feminine right goddess energy i love that because we have been such in a masculine state controlled right for centuries but we cannot only focus on the divine feminine because in order for that divine feminine to feel safe in order to bring out her empowerment or our empowerment we need to have that masculine safe container and we have to know that that's within us too so we can use them in union, right? And it's interesting because the more aware I become of my emotions and my where my energy is going and who's and um and like what do I want, right? Like what will feed my soul in like a good way? The more I become aware of this, the more I feel my vibration raising and it's, I know it's affecting people around me. It might trigger them, but it's affecting their vibration. And it's a, it's a really cool thing to like witness. But once I become, once I'm becoming more aware of these feminine energies and masculine energies within me, I'm realizing that they're just one, right? Cause we come from one. And when we realize that we are one with everything. There's no more good versus bad, hot versus cold, um, sharp versus dull. It's all about our awareness and our perception around what's coming into us. And when I think about the heart, I was I was like, wow, that makes so much sense because once we die, if you believe that there's an afterlife, once we die, our heart stops, right? Our heart stops. And then we go back to the oneness, to the consciousness, to heaven, wherever you believe you go, right? And I realized that when I meditate, or when I'm really in my source energy, time like stops and it feels exciting and like my heart rate's really low because I'm 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 so calm. I'm like one. 
literally I'm one. And when I'm doing energy readings or energy healing, I'm in source energy, I'm connected to that one. I remove the fact that I have all these other human things, right? Like beliefs and all that shit, right? I remove them and I, I connect with source and I'm one with source. And I can be a, more aware of the information and energy that's coming in to support the person I'm working with. Well, once I learned how to embody that for myself, it was powerful. And that's where the true healing comes from, is when you can be aware of your own emotions, not be in them, but be aware of them. Like, wow, yeah, like, I am angry. Like, why? So being more curious about your emotions and what's coming forth helps you heal. When you become more aware of your emotions, your beliefs, the energy within you and around you, you can quickly go into those states of, okay, I don't need to freak out right now. Like, I'm calm. I'm, I'm back to one. And we don't need to die to be one, to, to um, escape reality, right? Like... How do I say this? So in energy, there's poles, right? Opposite, there's opposites and there's poles. There's negative and positive energy. Well, what if I told you poles are an illusion? Because the way we see something and the way that we perceive it affects the poles. So like if you look at love and fear, opposite poles. If you can realize that they're one and the same and whatever has fear energy around it just really wants to feel love, you realize they're one and the same. And all you, all that society or whatever has done is caused this divide. Fear. Love. And it has made us feel like it's unsafe to be fully loved or to feel joy or feel oneness and feel calm. And society has taught us that we cannot heal ourselves without external stuff. We heal ourselves by connecting inward, listening to our bodies, being aware of our emotions, and allowing ourselves to go to that like zero gravity state. And what I mean by that is allowing yourself to deep to breathe and center and to like realize that you're just a wave in a field. You are just one speckle of light in this whole energy, whatever. And once you realize that you're just a wave in a field, if you're a wave in a field and you feel one and you feel love, your wave goes out and sends more love to others to help them realize that since you worked on yourself, you became aware of your own emotions. You became aware that you have masculine and feminine energy. You are able to hold more space to be in service for others because you took the time to be in service for you. And the depolarization comes in in the fact that we are living in a world of polarity. We are finding divides in things. Like we are literally creating divides to stay separate. Just like we were, you know, a lot of religions, whatever you believe in, a lot of religions make you or teach that in order to be connected to God, you have to do certain things or you have to repent your sins or like whatever, right? Um, The greatest thing is like love thy neighbor, but love thyself as though it was your own neighbor. You cannot, you cannot heal yourself and descend without becoming aware of what you need first. So it's like you're deactivating the external and you're activating your internal environment to be more aware 
So you can be in those states of like complete presence and kind of whatever emotions or events happen, you're okay because you know that you, you know that you're one. Um, and there's like the law of one by like the raw manual, which you can look it up. Um, but like when we can transcend through these poles that we've made that are just an illusion, we can realize that we're all one. And the law of one is about service to self or service to others. We cannot be in service to others until we are fully in service to ourselves. And this is where those miracles come in because people can, um, once they are aware of their own stuff and their own emotions and everything, other things don't really affect them. So their vibration is raised and they just allow pure source energy in in order to be in service to others to have those miracles, right? But the person needs to believe that miracles are possible in order for that shift to happen. They need to believe, have some understanding that we are one. And... Um, What was I just going to say? So if we look at ourselves, like science, right? We look at our body as a vacuum. What we allow into our space, right? So a vacuum sucks stuff up to clean it, right? Well, we're always, our, vib our aura can always pick stuff up. We need to be aware of when we're picking stuff up because we, we can suck it in and it can hurt us and it can actually um, prevent us from healing. So for instance, we still need to do stuff to heal, right? Like get surgery and whatever in order, because that's what our body needs. But what I'm, I'm talking about is the source energy and connecting to that by becoming aware of everything around you. And if you think about like indigenous tribes back in the day, they would connect with earth. They would connect with, you know, the weather and the elements and they were based their survival and how they lived around nature we've forgotten that people are bitching when it's snowing out it's like you live in new england or you live wherever it gets snow like why are you bitching about it you have somewhere warm you can retreat to because you knew that like you're living in an environment where it has different seasons so it's like are you gonna bitch about the weather or are you gonna be like wow like the rain's pretty cool and the snow is like look at how much the snow actually like transitions like snow is a rain it's you know precipitation it's all this stuff it's your perception around what's happening in your external environment that's affecting your internal environment when you can shut offline your external environment you can heal internally depolarization is detaching from things and realizing we are one realizing that we build these opposites we build these poles through our thoughts because we're not aware of our external environment and the energy that's being created by our thoughts and our emotions and so when we can deactivate that polarization of that polarity we can really ascend and heal because we know that we are one we if you've ever had a near-death experience or like done a really deep meditation where like you just feel you don't want to return right that is deactivating your your mind that thinks you have to be separate from that feeling from source energy from experiencing whatever you felt when you had like a near-death experience right like a lot of people have seen a lot of shit and they choose to come back you don't you don't just have a near-death experience and like be like, no, I'm not ready to come back. Because you come back because you can tell people you have a near-death experience, right? That feeling, that euphoric feeling is possible all the time if you become aware of it. So the depolarization is taking the poles, the polarity, the feminine and masculine, becoming aware of them, bringing them both online in your internal environment, connecting with your source energy and realizing they are just one. Because the, the feminine part of us speaks intuition. It is wisdom. It is grace. 
it is spirit speaking through us. The masculine energy is the one that goes, all right, feminine, what do you need? I need you to do this. How do we do that? Feminine tells the masculine. And the masculine goes, what do you need me to do in order to make that possible? Right? And the feminine tells the masculine, this is what we need to do because the feminine is in tune with herself, uh, itself, the source energy, because we all have masculine and feminine energy. And then the male takes that and does something with it. So they're one. They're total connection one. They're not opposites. We've been living in a world thinking that we're opposite, that a male is a male, a female is a female. Yes, in terms of gender, but in terms of energy, we have the same stuff. We have the same energy inside because we came from the same place. So we are here to learn that we are one. And to not judge each other for being different, to not judge each other for how that like someone else reacts to something. It's like you cannot heal people and you cannot have people meet you where they're not ready to meet you. So that's why you need to work on yourself and, and realize like you have the ability to manifest whatever you want once you realize you are just one with whatever you want. There's no, there's no limitations. The limitation is the one you're putting on yourself because you're thinking that there's opposites. Like, there's not. Like, yeah, all reality has laws, but, like, there's laws in the metaphysical and other dimension, and there's, like, universal laws. So check in with the universe laws and not the reality laws, because it's the reality laws that are limiting us from connecting to those universal laws and really, truly understanding those universe laws. And I did a, I connected with Toth, um and asked him about this because he's in the past when I've connected with him he told me to come to him about wisdom with when it comes to like mathematics and all this science stuff so that's what I did so that will be up next um but I hope that made sense love you